focus on e-commerce and e-commerce seems to be the story of 2014, isn't it? We've seen so many deals happening. What is the latest with Snapdeal? Well, the e-commerce space, as you said, is flush with funds. Mm. And the most recent one being the Snapdeal uh, uh, deal with uh, eBay. And in fact, uh, the Snapdeal has raised about $134 million from uh, eBay. Now, remember that this deal has been one of the biggest uh, uh, fundraising of 2014. And if you compare this with what the other retailers have been raising, it's the, you have the Mintra, you have the Jabong, you have the Flipkart, who've raised anywhere between $50 million and $360 million. So clearly, the, these kind of uh, fundraisers brings up the value of uh, each of these players. Now, in fact, it, specifically to this deal, there have been smaller investors who've also participated in the fundraise, like Intel Capital, Kalari Capital, and Nexus. So clearly, uh, with this kind of thing, you know, uh, the sense that we get from these kind of deals is that investors are bullish on the e-commerce space, and with the e-commerce space at about $3.1 billion, that's the size of the Indian e-commerce market, mm -hmm. we can see a series of funding. In fact, uh, if you look at eBay, they entered the Indian market with the acquisition of Bazi.com in 2004. And in fact, uh, a lot of analysts say that this deal could potentially result in uh, eBay buying out uh, Snapdeal. Although there have been no confirmations on this, but this is what analysts are uh, predicting. In fact, uh, in 2013, uh, the bullishness on this space can be seen with the about $700 million uh, worth of deals happening uh, in the e-commerce market. So clearly with eBay, this is the second Second round of funding, $50 million in April last year and now another $134 million. So clearly uh, charting a part, uh, path out for yeah, Snapdeal. Uh, tell me, doesn't it seem like a bit of a grey area in terms of investment into e-commerce sites go? Because, you know, we've seen clarity coming on FDI and retail, but where does it stand on e-commerce sites? Well, uh, if you look at the e-commerce sites, there are several sites that are tweaking their um, models to suit, uh, you know, so that they don't fall under, mm. uh, they can skirt these uh, e-commerce laws. But we need to wait and watch because there's not much clarity, as you said, it's still a grey area and a lot of work needs to be done and there have been several internal processes of reorganizing and also investors looking at pumping in money in a way so that they don't fit in, uh, you know, as they don't get caught as far as the e-commerce okay. are concerned. So it's not going to be surprising to see some uh, government action or announcements at least as far as e-commerce goes. Thanks very much for that.